everyone, welcome back to Oh Great Books, I'm Ellie. Today I'm doing a TBR for the 6th Musical Readathon. So this readathon is running, I've got my notepad here because there's a lot of details. Uh, it's running from the 9th of, no, the 8th of November uh, to the 17th. Uh, it's hosted by six different people. So there's Hannah, Brody, Taylor, Kara, McKenna, and Hannah. And I will leave all their links below. So this readathon is based off the musical Six, which is about the Six Wives of Henry VIII. Uh, it's one of my favorite musicals. I think it's great. And uh, there are six challenges based on each of the queens. Uh, wives, women, let's go with women. Women sounds the best, I think. Uh, so I'm going to go through them, tell you what I'm reading. Uh, obviously this overlaps with Nonfiction November, which as you all know from all the videos I've been doing, uh, I've been really excited about and is a major part of November for me. So I've tried to squeeze nonfiction in where I could and I managed to, which isn't great, but uh, hey, I'll be reading lots of other things during the month. So the first one I'm reading is for Catherine of Aragon, which is to read the first book in a series. I'm going with Bringing Down the Duke by Evie Dunmore. I don't know what the name of this series is. I just know that it's the first book, but yes. This is the first book. It's a fun historical romance. Really looking forward to it. Uh, I'm not gonna go through any of these in too much detail because they are ones that, most of them are ones that you've seen very recently on my channel. Um, and I will talk about them more uh, in a wrap up if I do end up getting through all of them. Uh, so book number two is for Anne Berlin and that is to read a book a scandalous book, a book with a scandal in it. Uh, I didn't really know what to go with for this one, so this is one of my non-fiction picks. <laughs> I went with Me by Elton John because I think that Elton John has a bit of that kind of like scandalous nature about him. Um, so yes, <laughs> I'm going with this one. Uh, this might be the non-fiction ones I might sort of start a few days out before the readathon starts. We'll see how my reading's going because I'm not sure I'm going to get through six books in the time that we've got. So we've got that. Uh, number three is Jane Seymour, which is a book with a strong mother or mother figure in it. Again, I struggled with this one. I know that I have books on my shelves that have that in there but I just couldn't for the life of me think of any and the one that I could think of was a very bad maternal figure so I didn't really want to include that one. So I'm going with uh, Pages and Co Tilly and the Lost Fairy Tales by Anna James. Uh, the mother in the first book of this series uh, was a very important character and very loving and supportive so I feel like it's probably going to be the same in this one um and if not this is just a beautiful book so I'm going to enjoy it anyway but I do hope I mean I I, I figure she it's the same mother so unless she does like a complete 180 I think we're safe uh number four is Anna of Cleves which is to read a book that has that features something you love about yourself. <sighs> Again, this was a struggle and it's not necessarily because there aren't things that I, like there are things I love about myself, but trying to like put that into words and then try and find a book. I don't know what he's doing, I'm sorry. Um, to, trying to find a book that has that sort of element in it was, you know, a struggle. And I was like, <laughs> there were like really basic parts. It was, it was just, it was a big thing. So I decided that I wanted to go with 
a book that featured disability because obviously that's a big part of my life. Um, and I couldn't, I don't have any books that have any of the disabilities that I have uh, or, you know, chronic illnesses or anything like that where are those diabetes books, people. It's one of the biggest chronic illnesses in the world and there's no YA books with it. Uh-huh. So, anyway, I'm going with The Great Unknowable End by Catherine Ormsby. I believe this is, I want to say, OCD? I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, I, I just had to go with disability in general as something that I love about myself. And this is one of the disabled, one of the books with disability in it that I own. So... This is my pick. That was a very long, drawn out explanation. Um, uh, prompt number five is uh, Catherine Howard, which is a book with a unconventional romance slash complicated romance. He's pushing me slowly off my seat. Um, so I went with Sefer and Dove by Shelby Moharan. Um, this is a book about a witch and a witch hunter that are married. So I feel like that's a complicated relationship and there we go, that's that. And then finally, last prompt is Catherine Parr, which is to read a book that uh, has something to do with education. I had a lot of possible books for this one. But I decided to go with Inferior, uh, How Science Got Women Wrong, and the new research that's rewriting the story by Angeline, Angeline, Angela. I don't know if it's say Sini, Sinini. I don't know why it would be that, but yep, that's what my brain wants to say. Uh, so. I've been trying to read this one for ages, which is why I decided to pick it. Uh, this, again, I feel like this is probably one I might start a few days out because it's kind of like dense in a way. And it also has kind of like, can't really see that, but like really small writing. So uh, I feel like this one might take me a little bit to get through. And I would really like to get through as many of these as possible during the readathon. So uh, that's my TBR there. Will I be able to read six books in this time? Maybe. That's all I can say. But uh, thank you so much for watching. I was about to say for reading. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Let me know if you're participating in this readathon. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.